Hello, my name is Bart Riley, and I have a show called Ideas to Inspire Ideas. Self-explanatory title, the latest episode starting right now. Hmm. My watch might be fast by a few seconds. Today's movie pitch is a historical drama about two opposing figures of power playing a children's game for their entire lives. The title is Two Kings, but not strictly the royal bloodline type. Like one of them is, but the other is a king of industry. It's your typical tradition versus progress narrative, but contextualized to make that argument more trivial. The start of the film is two young boys running through this medieval marketplace. They come across an two old men playing chess and are so captivated by the game. Yeah, straight off the bat, you know this is a period piece because what children are interested in chess these days? I can't talk, I'm not interested either. I kind of played it in high school, but I was bored, it was school. From there we jump forward about 20 years, learn that one of the boys was a prince and the other was like son of a servant slash adoptive brother. And in the intervening years they drifted apart and vowed to destroy the other in a real life game of chess. The young prince, obviously he becomes king, he has all the knights and castles and such. The servant left to become a merchant, philosopher, inventor, whatever, and he is now returned to the city of his youth to screw with the king through maybe the bishop, the church, or the queen if you want to go down that route. And it's this progression of two boys playing a game while everybody around them is in a bloody war that is taken very seriously. Characters like the pompous knight who is so confident of his skills that he easily falls into a trap when taking over a settlement that is actually pretty heavily guarded. Or the bishop who is very religious so you know where he stands on most issues. All these manipulative ways that the merchant can ruin the economy around the king who uses all his power to crack down on the merchant. While the greater metaphor is of course down on the merchant's side about progress and evolving society, I want the personal conflict to end in a stalemate. Neither character wins. Like their mindset is, this is just a game, I only want to one-up you. But in the end they both look equally as pathetic. Because in a sense, kinda, we need both tradition and progress. I had two conflicting thoughts about the presentation of this story. One is the two characters at either end of the battlefield never share a scene together. They're always talking about the other character or watching the results, but never directly interact. And the other version is they literally end the film killing each other. They're in an empty battlefield, the war is over, it's just the two of them in a sword fight and they run each other through at the exact same moment. Lock eyes, declare it a stalemate, maybe laugh about it, and drop dead. The second ending is more conventional, but I kind of like the first one, because it's a constriction that pushes you to think out how they interact when they're never face to face. At this point you're probably thinking, but Bart, what if I don't have access to a medieval castle and props and costumes and actors and food and money and time? Well, if that's the case, most likely, find a medieval role-playing group and turn it into a comedy. From that angle, it's more about the group of adventurers who are being manipulated by two d**ks. I mean, dictators. Same thing! And it doesn't have to be conventional medieval. I knew a guy who did a music video with a Viking group. It's a pretty flexible premise, because every society has faced change throughout history. I'm not lighting this video by banging rocks together. And again, why would I be filming if I was using rocks? Thanks for watching. This is my verbal declaration that I will not sue anyone for using the previous outline to create their own work, regardless of how much fame or money you might get from it. I'm definitely not the kind of artist who thinks I can own a concept. 
However, I would like to see what comes out of this video just for comparison and curiosity. If you do make something or find an existing piece that's similar, please let me know through Twitter or Facebook or email and I'll happily check it out. And if you want to see the ideas I am working on for myself, please visit my Patreon page for samples and previews, no payment required. Happy creating, Bard Riley out! To screw with the king through the bishop and maybe the queen. And it's this epic Game of Thrones book. I should say Song of Fire and Ice because I don't like that show anymore.